Hey guys and welcome to Ars Scale. So I see so many people confused over the advanced and optimized modes in Agility Rider. So this uh, video is going to be two-parter. In the first part I will tell you about the main intricacies of each mode and then I'll do a little fun experiment. I will create the same article with the same outline both in advanced and optimized modes and I'll use also a native Neuron Writer article, and we will be comparing the SEO scores because one of the benefits of optimized mode is that you don't have to go elsewhere for the keywords, so the LSI keywords, and we will see if there is any real benefit in uh, generating LSI keywords with Agility Writer without resorting to the tools like Neuron Writer or Software SEO. So, first things first advanced modes and optimized modes. There are a few things that you need to know. First real difference that you will notice is the cost. So if you are using GPT-4 in advanced mode, you will spend three credits as opposed to the uh, optimized mode, four credits. So the second difference is that in the advanced mode, you have to go to Surfer SEO or Neural Writer to generate your keywords, or you can use tools like Perplexity, for example. In the advanced mode, you don't have to do that since all the keywords are going to be generated for you automatically. That's the second difference. The third difference would be uh, if you wanted to create an outline, for example, you can use custom URLs. You can use a maximum of three URLs in the advanced mode and you have an option of including up to six URLs in the optimized mode. But for me, um, I think uh, the optimized mode wins. In the advanced modes, uh, you are getting an outline which is based on your competition and you don't have any control over which URLs to insert unless you use the custom URLs. But then again, you can only use up to three. And secondly, the you dictate the amount of headings uh, yourself. So ideally, you would have to go and look at the competition, count their headings, and then or choose the proper number of headings to match what your competition is doing. So I had five chosen by default, and uh, and uh, that doesn't mean that my competition is using five headings. It just means that I chose five. And with the optimized mode, you have much more control over which uh, euros to include or exclude. So by default, uh, the ones that are optimized for the keyword are chosen. So here I can uncheck any of the euros or I can manually add. Oh, now it's up to 10 actually. So I can add additional euros here. So I just have a lot more control and the amount of headings and the end word count is dictated by the competition. So here, the chosen URLs tell me that the word count should be between 1000 and 1400 words, as opposed to the advanced mode, which, uh, which just so happened that it uh, kind of matches what optimized mode is recommended, but, but only because I had five by default. So if I were to have 10, it, the word count would have doubled. And that's the uh, the biggest difference. So to sum up, uh, the first difference is the cost. You pay more for the optimized modes. The second difference is that you have to go for external so software or tools to fetch your LSI keywords in the advanced mode, but not in the optimized mode. The third one is that the outline in optimized mode is dictated by the competition as well as the word count. Whether in the advanced mode, you just have to do everything manually. So you can make it so it kind of matches your competition. But then again, you are limited with three euros only. And yeah, those are the main differentiating points. And yes, you have some other things like, for example, if you go to the help center, you see that you have, uh, you get one additional free image. With the optimized mode, you can generate more tables in the optimized mode and things like that, but I think I have covered the most important ones. So what I'll do now, um, I have to ditch this. I have chosen a keyword, which is worst parenting styles. So now I'll go to the advanced mode first. So I'll choose auto and think for the best results. Let's leave anti a detection as is. Interaction style, conclusion style, point of view, I, I use GPT-4, advanced structure, so let me try and create an outline. And while I'm doing that, let's copy the terms for Neural Writer. And I'll be using both extended and basic terms. Okay. And I want to use the same outline for every article. 
with the exception of optimized mode because optimized mode uh, gives you your own outline so i'll be using the um, same outline for advanced mode with entities without entities and for the newer writer and right out of the gate uh, with the order in place i think there are many more version styles than just three okay now the keywords these are the keywords and this time around i don't want any entities and i won't be generating any images just for the sake of time and i always uh, click improve readability i think that's important for seo okay let's uh, now do the same exact thing i won't be generating an outline from scratch these are the keywords same keywords and this is my outline okay and this time yeah the entity en enrichment is turned on tone then first person gpt4 okay add to writing queue and then let's try the optimized mode so we'll be using the same keyword worst parenting styles region usa generate article and while we wait let's actually try and generate an article with the help of new writer itself so this is our outline i'm not sure if this is going to affect anything to any great degree but i'll get rid of the special characters and numbers just in case so this is our outline and then what we have to do is to go to AI writing article based on your outline. The title is going to be Worst Parents and Styles. Tone of voice. Uh, let's use uh, hmm. neutral. Okay. And then generation settings. I'll be using GPT-4. And I'll hit write for me. This is weird. Okay. Worst parents and styles, introduction, authoritative. Okay, this was not enough, but uh, I'm just th thinking that the word count was extremely low for this. But let's just know the SEO score. So the SEO score, the default SEO score is quite high. It's 73, which is good to know since NeuroWriter has just used its own terms. Let's check readability, very high, grade 13, so not good. 13 and just for fun let's check originality since we can and i know some people are using neural writer to write content so i think this is completely ridiculous but still okay so what we have is a very high seo score a pretty bad readability zero human score and so the competition best is 81 so let's just note that and our optimized mode is ready and i won't be imagine anything and as you can see the uh, outline has just uh, grown from five headings to seven headings and that's what i was saying i won't be using extra keywords since i want to check how powerful the internal lsi feature is first person writing style let's use the same anti-ai actual data is on auto okay looks about right and so we won't be using entities uh, in this example Oh, that's a surprise. So I can actually, in the optimized mode, I cannot uncheck entities. It will use entities uh, by default. Huh, interesting. Didn't know that. So now I will have to get rid of this optimized mode without entities because it doesn't exist. Well, this just makes my job easier, I guess. Okay, so this was the first article which was uh, with, the, with the keywords but without the entities let's paste this in and the score is already 75 but this is probably because the content is much longer but still it's good to know that agility writer uses the keywords in the correct fashion 75 Let's check readability and readability is an amazing grade 7 that's what i like about agility as well as many other things human score is going to be interesting as well since we're using the anti-ai detection and this actually is capable of passing torrenting with a score of about 25 to 30 percent ai on average 99 percent original wow so human score is 99. So far, so good. 
and let's just clear everything here okay now in the second iteration where we used keywords and entities let's see if this makes anything better same got basically the same score of 74 interesting which is marginally less than than before but um, actually entities is different uh, from osi keywords and i honestly i don't think that new writer is uh, focused on entities so i think it focuses more on osi keywords maybe that's why the addition of entities did not improve the seo score but i was expecting it to shoot up to 80 or something and entities is a better feature if i'm not mistaken so doesn't cost you anything 67 <laughs> interesting so i wonder if including entities actually decrease the human score and this is an extremely low sample size so if you want to do the same experiments you would have to use more articles i guess than i am currently but well, that's um, some interesting stuff okay and finally the last one okay this is our optimized mode article which contains the agility writer generated osi keywords and entities so let's take a look let's paste it in into 68 ouch <laughs> okay 68 and now i'm wondering what would have happened if i used both the optimized mode with the new writer keywords grade 7 and so let's check readability 99 percent okay well at least it's passing originality and with ease so let's do something else let's now see if there is any benefit in using optimized mode and neural writer so that's going to be optimized mode plus entities plus neural writer let's do that so for this to happen we need to get back to our key terms like so let's try and create another optimized mode article new optimized modes worst parents and styles i was actually kind of disappointed with 68 but then i thought so 60 so neural writer produced a score of 73 and optimized mode without ever relying on neural writer data did 68 so i was i guess i was very harsh on agility writer optimized modes so so optimized mode is still a valid option if you don't want to use neural writer or you don't have it let's make sure we are using the same settings like so and so we'll paste in the keywords from neural writer so i'm actually excited to see what the seo score is going to be so okay our second optimized article now with neural writer terms is ready let's check it out and hopefully hopefully this will outperform every other mode as far as seo score 77 <laughs> okay so it did account for something uh, 77 so far this is the best uh, seo score uh, let's check originality 37 percent. wow i was not expecting that at all 37 i wonder what did it huh so maybe maybe so let me just do the uh, hemingway thingy and i'll get back to my thought grade eight so uh, maybe what happened was that the optimized mode with entities with additional you know, writer terms both uh, was overstuffing the article with the keywords and then originally thought that was pure purely ai content maybe that's what happened but all in all these are the results so both advanced and optimized mode pass originality with high 90 to 70 scores amazing readability uh, especially if you check the readability feature the seo score so the native um, neural writer article got 73 then the advanced mode with neural writer key terms got 75 with entities it was 74 i don't know why i would have uh, thought it would have been higher then the optimal uh, then the optimized mode with entities on its own got 68 and this is actually the mode that i'm using most often i don't use neural writer all that often anymore so i'm just using the optimized mode all the time 
but something weird happened when you combined optimize mode and your writer terms. You, you did get the highest SEO score, but then the human score dropped like crazy. But uh, the readability surprisingly was retained uh, around grade 8. So this is the experiment. You've learned the main differences between the advanced mode and the optimized mode. And then, although the very uh, the sample size was very small, I think we learned something new today as far as SEO optimization goes. Hope this video was helpful. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. And I'll see you next time.